on-chain data suggests Bitcoin whales who accumulated during the June crash have continued to hold strong so far. As pointed out by an analyst in a CryptoQuant post, the $18,000 level has been getting support from the whales as they have made spot purchases at this mark. The relevant indicator here is the sum coin age distribution, which tells us about the amounts the different Bitcoin investor groups are holding in their wallets right now. These groups are based on the idea of coin age, a measure of the total number of days a coin has been sitting dormant on the chain for. As an example, if one BTC remains still in a single address for two weeks, then this coin is taken as a part of the one week to one month, one watt to one M, supply. Now, here is a chart that shows the trend in the sum coin age distribution in the Bitcoin market over the last year as you can see in the above graph. The amount of supply held by the different Bitcoin coin age cohorts has shown an interesting pattern during the last few months. When the crypto's price crashed back in June, the 1D to 1 watt supply spiked up as whales picked up some fresh coins around the $18,000 level. As the days passed, these coins started aging into the 1 watt to 1M range, causing the 1D to 1 watt band to plunge down, while the 1 watt to 1M group observed an uptrend. Similarly, these coins matured further with time, leading to the 1M to 3M group rising up and the previous one falling off. And finally, in the last couple of months, the 3M6M cohort has also found itself at the end of this cascading effect. The recent increase in this last group suggests that the Bitcoin whales who bought during the crypto's decline to $18,000 have still not realized profits on their coins, and have continued to hold on to them with conviction.